everyone welcome to the turning point in this session let us solve a problem on friction and the question is the given question is there are two blocks resting on a horizontal surface like that so a weight having weights w1 and w2 and connected by means of a string so they are asking to calculate the least possible value of p least force p uh, and the angle of friction for each and every block is phi so that means they are asking to express the answer in terms of phi nothing but that one so here the same procedure like earlier problems you need to draw the free body diagram for each and every block later you need to apply equations of equilibrium for that first i will consider uh, free body diagram for block 1 so when i apply force p in this direction this block is able to move along left hand side direction so then the block b uh, block uh, second block will also move along left hand side direction why because that is connected by means of a string right so here the angles with horizontal are not given so consider this one as uh, theta this one as alpha so as they are not given you are considering like that as you so consider the free body diagram for block 1 so this is block 1 so weight acts vertically downwards w1 and p is the given force there which is acting at an inclination of theta with horizontal and here along the string there is a tensile force so along the string i am considering with the s and if you observe the restriction it is not able to move in downward direction so in the opposite direction represent the normal reaction so consider it as n1 when you apply the force p so it is able to move along left hand side direction in the right hand side direction represent the frictional force f1 uh, which is equal to mu n1 so mu is the same for all contact surfaces uh, in this problem so that is given so here uh, these two are inclined forces resolve those into two components along horizontal direction and vertical direction so here this is making an angle alpha nearer to the angle so multiples of cos s cos alpha this is s sin alpha and this is p sin theta and this one is p cos theta so applying uh, equations of equilibrium considering sigma fy is equal to 0 algebraic sum of force components along y direction is equal to 0 and one acting vertically upwards Minus W one acting vertically downwards. Minus S sin alpha acting vertically downwards. And next, P sin theta acting along positive y direction plus P sin theta. No other forces, right? Equal to zero. From this, N one is equal to W one plus S sin alpha. Minus p sine theta. So this is the value I got for n one. So I can substitute this value when I consider sigma. Consider sigma f x is equal to zero. So forces along x direction are s cos alpha along positive x direction and mu uh, n one along positive x direction minus p cos theta along negative x direction. No other forces, right? So equal to zero. From this s cos alpha plus mu into instead of n one there I can write w one plus s sin alpha minus p sin theta minus p cos theta equal to zero. So here taking s common cos alpha plus mu into sin alpha. So sin alpha term is over. So take the remaining terms onto right hand side. So minus p cos theta. When you send that one onto right hand side, it will become plus two. And uh, mu w one. It is a positive value here. So if you send that one to right hand side, negative value. So minus uh, mu p sin theta. So that is plus mu p sin theta. So from this, uh, so consider this one as equation one. 
So this is the equation I got when I consider a uh, free body diagram of uh, block 1. So now let us uh, consider free body diagram for block 2. So you can pause the video and uh, take this one. Now consider the block 2 weight acts vertically downwards W2 acts vertically downwards and along the string it is S it is making an inclination alpha with horizontal normal reaction perpendicular to surface not able to move in downward direction in the opposite direction represent the normal reaction so by the application of force p if it is able to move uh, if the first block is able to move in left hand side direction so then the block 2 also moves in left hand side direction in the opposite direction you need to represent frictional force f2 which is equal to mu n2 so there uh, s is inclined force resolve that one into two components along vertical direction it is s uh, sin alpha Along horizontal direction, it is S cos alpha. So apply sigma fx is equal to 0, sigma fy equal to 0. When I consider sigma fy equal to 0, uh, n2 acting along positive y direction minus w2 negative y direction plus Sn alpha is equal to 0. n2 is equal to w2 minus S sin alpha. Consider sigma fx is equal to 0. So when I consider sigma fx is equal to 0, f2 along positive x direction. So I can write that one as mu n2. And uh, S uh, horizontal component is minus S cos alpha equal to 0, no other horizontal forces. So mu into w2 minus S sin alpha minus s cos alpha is equal to 0. So taking a minus s common minus s into mu sin alpha plus cos alpha plus mu w2 is equal to 0. From this s into so I can write this one as cos alpha plus mu sin alpha right is equal to mu w2. So I have cancelled both negative signs. Consider this one as equation 2. So now if you observe equation 1 and 2. So both the left hand side terms are common. You can eliminate those. You can eliminate those. And you can equate these two. So I am erasing this one. So when I equate these two, E cos theta minus mu w1 plus mu into P sin theta is equal to mu w2. From this, taking P as common, cos theta plus mu sin theta is equal to mu w1 plus mu w2 so this one I got from these two equations erasing this so from this uh, p is equal to mu common w1 plus w2 divided by cos theta plus mu sin theta so here P is equal to the relation between uh, angle of friction and coefficient of friction is mu is equal to tan phi. So I have derived this relation in my earlier videos. You can refer that. Uh, here I am going to substitute a, a tan phi instead of mu. So here I can write a tan phi as sin phi divided by cos phi, right? So I am going to apply the same thing there. Sin phi 
divided by cos phi into W1 plus W2 divided by cos theta plus mu means sin phi divided by cos phi into sin theta. So here this is nothing but sin phi into W1 plus W2. Cancelling uh, cos phi term both in the numerator and denominator. Cos phi into cos theta plus sin phi into sin theta. So this one can be written as sin phi into W1 plus W2 divided by. So it is in the form of cos A cos B plus sin A sin B. So which is nothing but cos of A minus B cos of phi minus theta. So this is the value I got for P. But it is asked to calculate the least possible value for P. For that we will uh, do one thing. First arrange this one. So I got P is equal to sin phi into W1 plus W2 divided by cos phi minus theta. So it is asked to calculate P minimum. So it is, uh, it is nothing but a uh, ratio, so numerator to denominator. So if you want to have minimum value of P, cos of uh, phi minus theta should be maximum cos of theta minus uh, phi will be maximum phi minus theta will be maximum when it is equal to 1 so it is equal to 1 when it is equal to cos 0 from that phi minus theta is equal to 0 from that phi is equal to theta so when phi is equal to theta it is having minimum value of p so let us find that minimum value p minimum is equal to sin phi into W1 plus W2 divided by cos 0. So P minimum is equal to sin phi into W1 plus W2 divided by cos 0 is 1. So then this is nothing but the minimum value or the least value of force P required. So and it has been expressed in terms of angle of friction. So it has been expressed in terms of phi. Hope you like it. If you like this video, click on like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.